I'm Jake. And I'm Christine. And welcome back to the Movie Buff Reactions channel, Christine. Woohoo! Today we're going to be looking at the Honest trailer for Suicide Squad. In case you, I don't know if I've ever explained it to you, but the Honest trailers are, they're a web series where they make fake trailers for movies, some old, some current. Mm -hmm. And the point of a trailer is to make the movie look awesome, to entice people into seeing it. Mm -hmm. Their show is all about showing the movie for either how bad or how cliche it is. Oh. Yeah, as the title says, honest. And with the new Harley Quinn movie, Birds of Prey, coming out, I thought Suicide Squad would be a good uh, movie to have a video for us to react to. Deal. Sound good? Looking forward to it. Cool. Here we go. Commenters requesting Suicide Squad. From the studio that owns awesome heroes like Batman and Superman comes a film about the worst heroes ever. And that's from their actual trailer. But you know, guys, <laughs> you want to trailer yourself, Suicide Squad. After the mixed reception to their last movie, <laughs> Warner Brothers probably regret spending just six weeks on the script for this one. Now, they have four short months to reshuffle their executives, juggle seven different cuts, reshoot the third act, deliver on all the Joker stuff they already put in the trailers, and manage a director who takes shots at their biggest competition. <laughs> It's like there's some kind of... What's the word? Well, we some kind of suicide squad. Man, this thing is writing itself. <laughs> With Superman-level threats on the rise, Amanda Waller has a solution. She's bringing together a bunch of bad guys to save the world. This girl can do some pretty incredible things. From the bad guys she brought together to save the world. Do your worst, you bitch. They're high on attitude but dangerously low on relevant skills, like a man who's half crocodile, half racial stereotype. Any other requests? <laughs> a guy who shoots fire, but won't. I'm gonna die in peace before I raise my fist again. One chicken chomp an exposition machine who blurts out whatever the plot needs him to. We gotta cut her heart out! Here comes Slipknot, the man who can climb anything. Put our hearts out! We can end this! A drunk guy with a boomerang. Some stupid <laughs> cigar looking ass rope dork. A 90 pound girl with a bat. <laughs> Sorry. A lady who just kind of shows up and barely says anything and has a magic sword and isn't even a bad guy? Why is she here? This is Katana! She's got my back! I would advise not getting killed by her. Her sword traps the souls of its victims. That's good to know. And Will Smith doing everything he can to save this movie. If she can, <laughs> start slipping the you white people that thing. You know how you're gonna do Oh, yeah. This world is flying men and monsters. This is the only way to protect our country. Really? You love these good guys going bad, but they're going up against bad guys who are even better than the bad good guys with bad bad guys like the putties from Power Rangers with caviar <laughs> over their faces, Bullback from Legends of the Hidden Temple, and the Enchantress, an ancient spirit released by the world's worst archaeologist. Uh, like Watch Carol Delevingne make the jump from modeling to acting the ring. like the lady inflatable arm things outside car dealerships. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's still, that's still stupid. Movement. Wait, let me guess. It's a sky beam, isn't it? Surrounded by rubble and a disposable CGI army too, right? Man, this really sounds like a job for the Avengers. Or really any other movie in the last ten years. <laughs> but we know fans are only here for one reason. The Joker. And they're barely gonna get any of it. Experience Jared Leto's intense method acting that blurred the line between actor, character, and total douchebag. I did your send years comment sir. Oh, everybody. As he does in just ten minutes of screen time, what no other actor has been able to do. Make the Joker totally suck in an interpretation that combines James Frank with Spring Breakers. Look at my <laughs> with Ace Ventura. This handsome Hong Oh, wait. And <laughs> It's so edgy, you could cut him out of the movie and it wouldn't make any difference. Yep. Get ready for a film that loves exposition almost as much as it hates helicopters. Broken arrow, eat your heart out. Spell out who the characters are, tell you how they're feeling at all times. She seems nice. That is just a mean lady. Oh, Lord. You are evil. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Reminding you who's good and who's bad. The worst of the worst. These are villains, Amanda. You know it's these are criminals? They're bad guys. I'm the bad guy. Don't forget. We're the bad guys. We get it. You all suck. <laughs> so gear up with the film. We all thought we'd put the DC Extended Universe back on track, but instead gave us two hours of characters trying to look cool. To a soundtrack that feels like someone scanning through a radio dial. <laughs> He does have a good soundtrack. Great performances by Will Smith, Marco Robbie, and Jai Gordy of all people. That get canceled out by this hula hooping witch. Yes, yeah, this man erects a juggalo. Yeah. Yeah, but hey, at least Wonder Woman looks pretty good. That was right? a great film. Starry, one eyed Willie, Jonathan <laughs> Davis, Daddy's little cosplayer, Keith Lesser, <laughs> that's not a noise, Diatelos Mentos, to Crocodile, just the worst. Yeah. G.I. Pose. American Zero. <laughs> this is Katana. She's got my back. I would advise not getting killed by her. Her sword traps the souls of its victims. Gone poor man. Am I too soon? I'm too soon. Hey, what is that like watching this movie? The Boondock Tanes. <laughs> <laughs> that was our main satellite up late. Oh no. Now all they have left is the satellite that used to film the other satellite. Be sure to subscribe. Yeah, I got a point what there. Sure. Hey, screen junkies, want even more Suicide Squad in your lives? They click the box on the left. Now he's going to read comments from people. More jokes are alternate starring names, and absolutely no more Joker. That's a guarantee. All uncut and uncensored. And while we have you, click the box on the right to check out our upcoming roast. Okay, get, get to the comments. Getting burned again. The force will not be with him. She just told everyone your deepest, darkest secret. You must be so embarrassed. It's the most expensive time of the year. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mr. B6. Look at me. <laughs> M. Night Shyamalan is a beautiful and majestic man who I'm married to and should make a movie about Jar Jar Binks leading an army of minions. <laughs> Take the halls with pepperoni. Stop telling me what to say, you fools. <laughs> so, that's Honest Trailers from the company YouTube channel Screen Junkies. Have you ever watched them before? No. What Entertaining. You, you like uh, their format? How they go about it? Yeah. They've been going for, I believe, almost 10 seasons now. Oh, wow. They've become one of the biggest web shows on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And they got some legitimately good writing. Yeah. And they collaborated with many other popular movie YouTubers, CinemaSins, the Nostalgia Critic. And some of their best honest trailers uh, include Aladdin, the original, Beauty and the Beast, and uh, Deadpool. They, uh, <laughs> the Deadpool honest trailer actually features Deadpool as a character uh, coming in and uh, helping out with the narration. Oh. And they actually got Ryan Reynolds. Reynolds to do it. That's funny. Yeah. They did some good uh, riffing here, showed, yeah, the problems with this film, uh, things that are kind of obvious, mm -hmm. and uh, doing shit that really should have been handled by the people with powers. Yeah. And, yeah, the Joker could be cut out of this film entirely. Totally agree with that one. Yeah, just, the Joker in Suicide Squad is the worst Joker I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. And... Jared Leto sounds like he was being a right uh, cunt throughout filming, mailing people dead animals, and as they said, use condoms. Oh God. Yeah, there's a point between playing. There's a line between pulling pranks and uh, needing a lawyer. Yeah. And Will Smith, of everybody, he is definitely the main draw of this film. Like. This was pretty much his movie all around. Yes. Without him, it definitely wouldn't have uh, as much enjoyment as it did. And I don't hate Suicide Squad. Neither. I think it's dumb, but fun. It's certainly better, I think, than Batman v Superman, which yes. was just like a big slap in the gut to anybody who likes those characters. And Margot Robbie, while the Harley Quinn character can be a little annoying, she's always been a little annoying. That's kind of the point. I think, um, right direction, um, 
for the right scenes, she was pretty enjoyable as that character. Yes. Viola Davis as Amanda Waller. She's meant to be a villain at times, sometimes an anti-hero. And she's a great actress, mm -hmm. Viola Davis. But this character, they definitely uh, should have been a bit more harsh on her than they are. The film kind of brushed over the fact that she murders innocent people at one point. Mm -hmm. Just because they feel like she's the mean, tough lady leader of the group. Mm -hmm. And the guy, the killer croc guy, mm -hmm. that's not CGI, that's actual makeup. Oh, wow. And that actually won the film the Oscar for Best in Makeup. I can imagine putting that on would be pretty, I mean... Totally. What did you think of the narration in this, tra no, this trailer? I really liked it. The guy they got is this voice actor named John Bailey. He's done a lot of... I was going to say, he sounds really familiar. He's done a lot of voice acting, possibly, and stuff you might know. He currently got, he was, he narrated, I believe, the trailer for the upcoming season of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Yes. So, dude's rising up in the world. But yeah, he's got a great narrator. No, <laughs> he's got a great narration voice. And that's not even his real voice. His actual voice is a bit more whiny sounding. Hmm. He just knows the right, uh tone and volume to pitch at. Yeah. It's a talent. Yep. <laughs> Fucking A. And before this becomes any more ramblish than it already is, <laughs> what did you think of the funny names they gave to the cast at the end? I think it was a funny touch. And I like how it kind of went along with like their views of the character and their acting and their space. My favorite one was Heath Lesser. Because, yeah, it just feels like a really shitty impression of Heath Ledger. And I like the joke title, The Boondock Taints. <laughs> Little juvenile, but the it's how dramatic he says it that makes it funny. Yes. So, uh, then you might want to check out any other Yeah, Australia. totally. Interested. Go to their YouTube channel, uh, Screen Junkies, and you'll find many Oz trailers dating back almost seven plus years, as well as other shows they do. Although, I'll be honest, I'm not really a fan of the other reviews and movie theme shows Screen Junkies does. The Oz trailers are the ones I love the most. Anyway, thought this would be a nice little tie in, and Hope uh, you enjoyed our reaction and hope uh, Birds of Prey doesn't suck. <laughs> <laughs>